Welcome! So this video will go through the things that I did in my final year of high school and first semester of university to make X amount of money. So yeah, let's just dive right in. I made this amount through my various sources. I had a side project of tutoring people for selective schools and also sold stationery on the side. I used to resell used tech and hype clothes but those weren't as consistent. All the income mentioned has flowed between my business debit card or my PayPal. Time to break it down. So about one third of my income came from tutoring slash selling the resources for my tutoring program. I made $3,850 from actual tutoring and $754.10 from selling tests. I charged roughly $25 to $30 an hour and tutored two students in 2019 and three students in 2020. I tutored for a total of 14 hours in 2019 and a total of 116 hours currently. The two in 2019 occurred during June to July, meanwhile for 2020, one started in November of 2019, another started in January, and the third started in March, but dropped out due to COVID circumstance. As for my thoughts on tutoring, well, I enjoyed seeing my students improve and grow. I'm also grateful that my class of 19 cohort all got into their respective schools. I'm attempting to scale it some more, but I'm set back a bit by current perceptions around my ATAR. Anyhow, the next source of income was reselling stationery. This takes up about two thirds of my income in total. All time from selling on eBay, I've made around $10,174.46. I've mainly resold Muji stationery, but I've branched out to Zebra and Rot Ring. This is run through a Shopify store that also displays items on eBay, although I haven't really expanded that. Shopify store. The other 3000 ish dollars came from the cash that I have received and poured into my side endeavors. Some of the cash comes from birthdays, Christmas, from when I resold tech, and a bit comes from the youth allowance. As for how long I work each week, the initial setup of all these things took about 200 plus hours. To set it all up, so around 1-2 to two hours a day, but ever since November I have only worked the amount of hours needed for tutoring and an additional 1 hour every week to pack and send items. So for the past 6 months or so, I've spent only 6 hours a week to earn roughly $350 a week. To be honest, I didn't grow the tutoring or the reselling hustles that much between January and June, mainly because I was so lazy. So majority of the income stayed relatively the same, although I am now venturing into reselling on more marketplaces like Amazon and have also started to source more products. As for tutoring, I have made various test packs for the different schools and will be working on an application to change my course from that of an offline one to one online. I also have investments that I can talk about. This isn't included in the QuickBooks profit and loss sheet because for the most part, it is personal income. Most of this comes from my birthdays and accounts that I've been given. I have received $5,000 from my aunt in a term deposit account, which matured in January. My mother needed $2,000 at the time, so I gave her that, and took another $2,000 which I invested into a Tesla stock and to source products from my Japan trip. I kept the leftover $1,000 in the term deposit. I have also been very fortunate enough to receive youth allowance and the COVID supplement, which I've poured into the ASX or buying new items. So I now own 9 CBA stocks. I have a tendency to spend majority of the youth allowance on items that I believe will help in my future endeavors, such as tech. <laughs> the total for my savings and investments as of July is roughly 4.5k to 5k AUD. My plan is to reach at least 10k by the end of the year. I also utilize Afterpay and ZipPay as a $3,000 credit to purchase items so that each week I'm still able to retain majority of my cash to grow and spend more to make more. <laughs> this is another reason why my expenses are so high. Eventually the plan will be to move to a credit card but as of right now my income is still under the threshold. Majority of the money management lies under my ABN, so I am eligible to claim certain things. But I will discuss this more with the accountant, but I'm still new to most of this, and it has been quite the learning experience. I'd say a lot of the things I've done around making money are scalable since all of my endeavors are able to grow a lot more. And yeah, this pretty much sums up my income sources for 2019 to 2020, or during my 18th year of being alive. <laughs> I'll do these yearly until I reach 100k, but plan is to reach 100k annually while still in uni, so I have around 2-3 to three years to 5x my income. Well, if you got to this point and enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe and follow my journey. Thank you for watching.